warn everyone. About 35% of the public probably has some level of RF or EMF uh, sensitivities. The people who are getting sick are showing up with, with EHS and these various toxicities. They're the canaries in the coal mine. Uh, electromagnetic radiation, electromagnetic fields are a form of pollution that affects our nervous system. Could you please raise your hand, all of you that wants to have a headache from your cell phone exposure after 30 years? No one has said, yeah, of course not. No one wants that. About half of 1% are disabled by radio frequency pollution. You won't see those those injuries reported. Someone comes in, they can't sleep, so they're given sleeping pills. They have headaches or other pains, they're given painkillers. If you have a functional medicine doctor or an allopathic doctor, try to sell you a detox. The root cause is not being dealt with. There is no detox for non-native EMF. It's only redox. I hope that people like you getting this word out inspires more and more basic research in this. All of us are being exposed to this. This is not their problem. This is our problem. 2004, the World Health Organization held a meeting on electro hypersensitivity. But suddenly some of the things we presented, uh, they were met with a no, 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 not this time and not here. And you will not see that stuff reported on, on TV or in the mainstream media. And I want everybody to know if you're electro uh, hypersensitive, no, don't listen to the doctors. You're not crazy. You really do have a fundamental problem. Ourselves, our children, our grandchildren are all having this increasingly toxic burden to deal with. We really have to own it so that we can really deal with it in a more effective way. This is an amazing body with a little bit of help. It keeps going and healing is possible. Hopefully this video. You're watching the 2024 EMF Hazard Summit.